Quick Maps is a web-based map tool that could be used in the classroom. It's very dynamic. What you'll need to do is you need to create accounts. It's very easy. It's just three steps. You're going to enter a login, then you're going to enter a password, and then you're going to enter that password again. Once you have an account, you're going to be able to create maps online that you're going to then be able to interact with, draw on, and manipulate. We're going to go ahead and start and sign in through your account. Once you log in, you're going to have a blank dashboard to start with, but later it will be populated with your maps. Go ahead and say create a new one. And then go to, you're going to enter in a location that you want to work from. Um, for this example, we're going to go out to the South Pacific and uh, use the example of the tsunami that happened recently uh, from America Samoa and explain why that created tsunami warnings in Oregon. So you can go ahead and take any one of these icons off to the right and you can place it onto your map. It's now going to stay at that location. Um, you've got a lot to choose from. We're going to go ahead and do the scribble tool and we're just going to draw little curved lines in just a little circular motion all the way from the tsunami and slowly get them larger and larger to see, see the effect of the wave as it moves across the ocean. Um, so you can navigate through here uh, by moving. Your little hand will allow you to uh, move the map. You can zoom in and out, or you can use the left, right, up, down arrows to move the map as well. So once we get all the way through here, go ahead and toggle up a little bit more, scribble the rest of the way, and then all of a sudden we see that this wave has grown and grown and kept moving forward until it has hit Oregon. Another element of this tool is that you can add text. Go ahead and click and drag the letter A over there, put it where you'd like to place it, enter in your text, and then you can add text to your map as well. Once you've created your map, go ahead and add a title. Uh, this would be like a the America's Samoa Tsunami. 2009, add other information to it, and then you can go ahead and save it. Nice thing is that it saves in the cloud. It's not going to save to your hard drive. Once you're done, you can go back to this, or anybody can go to it, send them to that URL address, and they'll have a web page that ha has your map on it that they can interact with. The lines that you created or whatever that you did with that map is a unique web page now that people can get onto and look at. There are a couple of ways that you can upload this, these files. You can upload it as an XML file, which is a file that can then be opened in Google Earth. And the GPX is an option that allows you to upload it into a GPS device. Another element that you can use for quick maps is that you can draw straight lines. Um, so that is pretty obvious there. You've got the scribble lines and you've got the straight lines. So in this example, we're going to say that we're taking an, uh, a, a tour of Europe and uh, we're flying from one location to the next. So we're going to go from London to Rome and just travel about Europe. This could then be a part of a presentation that explains many things regarding that, that you would want to have a map with points of destinations and travel path paths into. It could even be a, a map assignment. It could be a science experiment uh, explaining the, the impact zone of, say, Chernobyl. A lot of different elements that you might want to draw lines on maps and then have a web page that you could then go to as the source of the visual for that presentation. You're going to go ahead and save it the same way. Go ahead and add a title, add some information, hit save it. It's going to save online. You don't have, it's not going to save on your hard drive so that you can now get it anytime you want from anywhere you want. You'll also have that URL address that will then allow anybody to look at it um, without having to sign in. Another great thing about this tool is that you can also map the surface of the moon. You can map the surface of Mars. 
and you can interact with a map of the night sky. That is Quick Maps. I hope you find great 